Would you like to have more people engage, interact, and open your emails and newsletters? If so, check out this tip. Hi, I'm Michael Zapersky from ConsultingSuccess.com, and today I want to share with you a very simple step that you can take. You can call it a trick, you can call it a secret, but really it's just a step that you can take to get more people engaging and interacting with your emails and newsletters that you send out. And regardless of which email service you are using, it could be MailChimp, Aweber, Infusionsoft, Active Campaign. It doesn't really matter. Almost all of them uh, provide this functionality. But the, the step here to take is that once you've set up your email newsletter to go out, uh, then what you can do is you can go in and you can replicate the campaign. So pretty much you're creating a copy of that campaign. But here's what you do. You go in and for that second, for that duplicate, for that copy, that you just made of, of that newsletter or that campaign that you're going to be sending out, what you do is you change the targeting of it. You change the, the segment, uh, the settings that you have as to who is going to receive it. And you set it up so that it will only be sent to people who have not opened your previous email. So what happens is, right, people get inundated with emails and they might look at yours and if the subject line doesn't grab them or if they're just too busy, they might just delete it. They might put it into a different folder. For whatever reason, they may just not open it. Well, this gives you a second chance. And it allows you to put your email in front of your ideal clients or people on your list without bothering them because you don't want to send a duplicate email to someone that's already opened and engaged with the first email. Right? Even if they haven't taken the action that you ultimately want, you don't want to be bothering people by sending duplicates all the time. So this allows you to only send the email automatically to people who have not opened that first email. The other best practice here is to change the subject line. So let's just say that your first subject line is, um, you know, here are six tips to increase your landing page conversion rate, right? That might be the, the subject line from your first email. Well, the second email might be six tips for better landing pages. And the reason why it's important to change the subject line a little bit is because uh, if people just see the same subject line again, then it still looks like you're sending a duplicate email to them. Uh, and if they chose specifically not to receive or, or not to, I should say, not to open that first email, then it's it's a little bit annoying to get a duplicate of that email right away. But because you've changed the subject line, it then comes across as a different email. And that will significantly improve uh, and increase the number of people that open your email, that engage with it, then also you know, click on it or take action onto whatever your call to action in that email is. And if you're saying, well, but I don't want to send duplicates to people. It's not going to bother them and so on and so forth. Here's the thing. When you send email newsletters, you're always including an unsubscribe link in them anyways. If people don't want to receive your emails, they should just click it and remove themselves from it. That's why it's there. At the end of the day, you want to have an email list with people who are responsive, who want to be receiving your information because they value it and because they get a benefit from it. If they're not getting a benefit from it, then they shouldn't be on your list and then it's no problem and you shouldn't mind if they unsubscribe. But if they are on your list and if they're busy, if they just missed your email or they haven't been able to get to it yet, Getting this follow-up, almost a reminder, this follow-up uh, email that's only going to people that haven't opened your first one, you'll see a nice boost, a nice bump in the overall number of people that are getting your message and then taking action on it. And so whether you're just sending out a, a weekly or a monthly newsletter, whether you're sending out a special promotion, uh, whatever it is, using this little technique, using this extra step will help you to engage more people and to ultimately impact more people and to get greater results.